Nice little 26-foot rear living flagstaff just came in on trade here at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Um, these are a sister line to the Rockwood Ultralight that we carry. And, uh, you know, naturally they, they're very, very similar in almost every single fashion. Um, one of the uh, things that we've always liked about these is the construction. The uh, fact that it's basically fully laminated helps keep the weight down, but helps keep the strength and rigidity up in the structure. And uh, that's where a lot of your longevity comes from. There's two ways to make an RV light. The first way is you skimp on structure. You know, the less material you use, naturally the lighter the RV. Uh, this is built the other way, the correct way, which is with better materials and processes, like a full aluminum frame, uh, full lamination. You see aluminum wheels here. These are on a uh, torsion ride, rubber dampening axle system so that you don't get all that um, road bumps and jumps translated up through the structure of the trailer, which is actually where a lot of your failures come from. This is a full outdoor grill setup. Your propane quick connect for the grill is out here. A little handy work table is included with this. I haven't fully looked through the trailer. It's possible, but don't quote me on this. It's possible that the... Uh, grill is hidden somewhere like maybe under the bed that I haven't got to yet. One of the things I love about this floor plan is the open bedroom design. It opens this up, gives you so much more room. You can actually have space. You can stand here. You can get dressed. You can change your clothes. A lot of times, if you really start looking at travel trailers, ask yourself, where am I going to put on a pair of pants? You have to almost take your clothes to the living room to get changed most of the time. Another thing I like is these have, just like our Rockwoods, a full-size sink. You can see how big this is. So you can actually get your hands in there, wash your hands. Um, your storage solutions in this floor plan are amazing. Your underbed usage, all the space they use under here is fantastic. Uh, you know, you still maintain the classic front window in here. And the reason you can do that is because they do put that wind guard on the front that you can flip up or down. So, uh, you know, including the door, you have one, two, three windows, big windows right here in the bedroom. And notice that you have the two-part shade. You've got the, the day shade down here. Oops, I'm hooked on something. There we go. Gotta always be careful. If it fights you, there's a reason. So you've got, you know, you can go with no shade, day shade, or night shade, depending on what you're looking for. Um, you know, just your cabinetry, your fit and finish in Rockwood and Flagstaff have always been fantastic. You see that this isn't just uh, the, some manufacturers will take just some trim and put it up here, but this is an actual uh, raised panel door. Um, again, just another little step closer to something a little more residential. And uh, your stool space, this is minimal in here, but to show you, I am 6'3", 200 some odd pounds, I still got room. So you still have room to use this, and you have a very, wow, bigger than I thought it was going to be generous closet space right here for linens, blankets, extra coats. Uh, you can see up here, I left this vent open for you. Uh, you have not only the big fan, but if you look, you can see that the vent is open and you have the roof vent cover right above it right there. That lets you um, keep the vent open in the rain. You, wow, you have more linen storage right here. This is perfect for towels right next to the shower. It's funny how I, I go camping too, and, and after you've been doing this a little while, and, uh, you know, you've gone camping a few times. You start looking at these things, and in your head, you're packing them. You're figuring out, where can I put all my stuff? And you just, you can't help but do that. Uh, the chairs obviously can spread out. I just, that's the first place that they were set when I opened the slide up. And this table here, what's nice about this, it's freestanding. If you want to take it outside and use it like a little lawn table or anything like that, not a problem. You can do that. And notice you have upgraded window treatments all around the dinette here. And the reason they do that with the with these drawdown shades, if you're not careful, you can lean back and hit these little plastic clips and kind of screw up the tension. In. And with these box covers on here, it'll help protect that. It's just another level that they put in to sort of protect you from damaging your own trailer, really. Um, check out the roof structure in this. This is one of my favorites. How cool is that? Try doing that to your old trailer that you have at home. Or uh, if you're going out looking at a different trailer, well, don't. Actually, don't try that because you'll probably bust one of your roof panels and you'll blame me. But uh, <laughs> just to kind of show you the kind of construction, this is fully six-sided laminated, meaning the roof, the floor, the walls, the side walls here and the slide-out, fully laminated. You you normally cannot do that on the side wall of a slide-out. You'll, you'll, again, you'll bust it. I was talking about awesome amounts of storage. Right here in the kitchen, we have 
another of these big giant cabinet setups. Everyone always says, you know, they don't have as much storage in them as they used to. This one does. This one definitely does. Uh, we have central air in here that'll help keep everyone cool in the summer months. Um, this is an all-in-one unit. This is your stereo, your uh, CD player, your DVD player, your everything. It does it all in one. And it actually has wired into it a, uh, a satellite system. Naturally, your subscription would be in addition to this, but it does have the module to run that if you'd like to. And the uh, previous owners were kind enough to leave a nice little flat screen TV here for you. That was that was cool of them. Um, pretty much sums it up in a nutshell. I mean, there, I could I could talk about these and the different structure and build elements for a half hour, but I don't want to bore you with technical jargon. So, if uh, there's you have any other questions, you want to learn more about it, don't hesitate to give us a call. Our number here is 800-256-5196. Hailed RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Thank you very much. Happy camping, everyone.